All right, guys, welcome to the next video in the series. All right, today we'll be doing fundamental problem from chapter four, problem five. All right, and we'll be determining the moment that's being transferred from this force over to the pivot point. Okay, because in your later in your later classes, you'll be determining. Okay, how do I design this so it supports that moment that's being transferred? All right, stress, man, stress. Okay, so by now you should know, okay, I have my force and I have an angle, all right? So the first thing I have to do is break it down into components, all right? So in this case, I have my angle given to me with the horizontal, okay? So I know that this is going to be my X component, which is going to be 50 cosine 60, okay? And in the y direction, I have 50. I already used up my cosine, so it's going to be sine. So no more guessing. Okay. Oops, sine 60. Okay. And now, let's extend out some lines of action here. So for the y component, I'm just going to, you know, here's my line of action it looks like a snake but it should be straight and in this direction okay so now now we already have a, like we can visually see the distances we need to multiply the x force by to calculate the moment which is all this and the y component has to be multiplied by this whole distance over here okay Again, it's going to be one of these that has to be broken down to. This one will be broken down into three separate segments, right? Because we are, we have this 100. We know this is 100. So we got to figure out what this is, right? And we're going to get that by computing the, you know, the, the what's it called? The distances of the sides of this triangle, okay? So let's see. This triangle is... This is one of the sides, and this is one of the sides, okay? And the hypotenuse is 200 millimeters, right? So I know that my, and, I, and it's with the horizontal, right? The angle is given to you with the horizontal. So then my Y component of it is going to be the sine component. So it's 200 sine 45, okay? can't wait to get a Wacom tablet to draw these things okay and then the next one will be uh, the X component will be 200 cosine 45 cosine 45 okay so ugly but okay so now I already have my the distance needed for the X component right it's gonna be this distance over here this purple distance, well, I guess they're both purple, but this distance, okay, the y component of this, uh, of this distance, all right, so let's do that, let me use some yellow, so we have the net moment, about 0. 0.0, okay, it's going to be 50, Cosine 60, okay, times what distance? Oh, okay, the distance is 200 sine 45, okay, because we that's a distance needed for the line of action to collapse down onto 0.0, okay, or to shift it to 0.0. 200. We're gonna use these weird units of uh, millimeter newtons, okay, sine 45. All right, and in what direction? So if we push in this direction, right? Or if you align your fingers going in, align your right, the fingers in your right hand along that force, the 50 cosine 60 force, right? And let them collapse towards O, you're, they're gonna go in the, what's it called? The counterclockwise direction. So we know that's gonna be a positive moment. Okay, and now let's do it for the Y. So the Y component, again, we align our fingers with 
that force, okay, and let them go towards O, all right, they're going to rotate in a clockwise direction. So we know it's going to be minus 50 sine 60. And then what's what distance is, is it going to be? It's going to be 100, okay? It's going to be 100, okay, this distance, plus this distance, okay, 200 cos 45, oops, not, and then plus this 100 plus another 100, okay? That way you have 100, 200 cosine 45, plus 100, it gives you this total distance, okay? And now we can just compute it. So let's go back to our pretty yellow over here. And not, okay. So let's compute that, so it's 50 cosine 60, so if we're 25 times 200 times sine 45. So that is 3, 5, 3, 5, 0.5 minus 50 times sine 60 times that number inside. 45. Mm, wow. 50. Okay. 200 plus 200 times cosine 45 times 50 times sine 60. And I get 14, 7, 8. Three or let's just do four. Okay. And so this will give me M not three five three five point five minus fourteen seven eight four. And I get minus eleven two four eight. Point five millimeters times newton. Okay. So those are the the units for this. Okay. If you're not satisfied with those, you can we can divide this by a thousand in order to get meter newtons, right? So we divide it by a thousand, we can get minus um, eleven. Point, I'm just going to put 0.25 meter newtons, okay? And another thing you can do if you want to leave it in, um, I don't know, like kilonewtons or something, you can um, move this over, I guess, you can say... 11.2 kilonewton millimeters, okay, which will end up giving you the same thing as, you know, if you expand it out, it'll be 11.25 meter newtons, okay. But yeah, so this pretty much where we can just stop, and like I said in the other video, we can just say 11.25 um, meter newtons, and then you specify the direction. Since we got a negative, we're going to say, okay, it's going clockwise. That way you don't have negatives in your answers. It looks uh, a little better. All right. All right.